Hello there. Today's um, KTTV video is about the Holtzapfel Archimedean or Persian drill, which I mentioned on the forum in a few articles, and a number of people have asked me to do a video, so that's what I'm doing today. Uh, first, a little bit of history about the handle. Um, it came from eBay really cheaply because it was missing the handle. But a lot of people won't buy it because it hasn't got completed parts. Um, however, I noticed that it had the always missing flywheel, which is much, much, much more complicated to actually um, replicate. I had it had the handle and the missing flywheel. It still worked as a drill, but it wasn't complete. So I thought, I know now that I can make a handle, but I can't necessarily make a flywheel. Not a good one anyway. Um, so. Having purchased it, I then set about making a handle. Now, I hadn't seen any photographs of any handles. I hadn't any idea of, of how they looked. And um, it wasn't until Ted um, produced a photograph that he found on an auction site, which showed a similar drill, missing the flywheel, of course, um, but with a handle. So that showed the ferrule. So I set about redoing it yesterday and putting the ferrule in. The design for the handle comes from um, uh, just a guess, really. This was a, a, a turn screw I got, and this is one from a, from a pistol, um, a gunsmith's uh, screwdriver. This is one of the, the lathe, Holtz Apple lathes one, which is slightly um, later. And this is one of Matthew's copies that he's made um, that he puts on uh, for sale and puts on his chisels. So I merged these all together in a concept and came up with, with this one. Yesterday, having seen the ferrule, I added that, um, but I didn't really change the the, the um, end because I actually preferred this this shape. The um, the other bit that was missing from the from the drill was uh, the correct bits. Now these are quite easily come uh, uh, found for other drills. If you look at them, they're spade bits and they're 45 degree points to them. So having watched the, um, the video by, um, by Chris on ClickSpring click recently on the Antikythera uh, mechanism, Antikythera mechanism, um, he shows how to, how to actually manufacture these, make these, and uh, in one brilliant video. They're not easy to make. They look it, but they're not. Um, so I took a twist drill and I cut it down. Um, by snapping it off and then grinding it and honing it on on some diamond plates and it and it seems to work well it's not the sharpest yet I need to get it sharper but it does work um, so not to hold any more up um, I will show this in action now the action that is a pump action this causes the flywheel to turn like that in fact if you go crazy you can make it turn beautifully because such is the precision of um, John Jacobs work uh, but that's not what it's supposed to be for an executive toy um, the as you push the downward force the the wheel spins and you stop but the wheel carries on and it takes the bit with it and it keeps the bit going in the same direction one thing with the uh, V spade bits is you must um, start have a starting hole which you use an awl for. This is a, a particularly luxurious way of doing it. One of uh, John Economaki's Bridge City um, historical vintage tools now, I suppose. Um, I just put a put a, a mark on this piece of wood here, cramp this to the to the bench. So it doesn't go anywhere while I'm drilling. And you you place the um, you place the bit into the hole and that that lines it up obviously and then you just slowly start it because it's a slow start and then you just keep going and it will just go straight through and has already now the the main benefit of this type of drill is that it will come um, straight out like that because it's got no flutes at the bottom down uh, down here. There are no flutes like you'd get on a twist drill uh, to prevent it from coming out. Um, so it's, it's, it's really, really nice to use. That's, that's my view. Um, 
it cuts beautiful holes uh, there is no a little bit of swarf on the bottom of that but there is let me just see if i can show you this let me see if we can get it in the correct light a row of holes that i've done not necessarily straight but um it's really fast really fast and um, just as fast as as, as a powered drill um, a battery powered drill and um, but it's it's really controllable you can you can really make sure that you're lined up uh, straight and that you've got um, uh, the the momentum going correctly so that you don't um, blast through the other side it really is a beautiful hand tool um, delicate is um, they are they are found um, in cheaper versions quite quite a lot in the UK certainly um, they are used by jewelers to make holes in in brass plates and um, indeed Chris shows in the video um, on Clickspring um, the actual use of it on even on a lathe so very very beautiful type of design um, and would have been would have been freely available um, a couple of centuries ago certainly and uh, even even back to the to the ancient Greeks so that's it that's the um, that's my um, Holtz Apfel Archimedes Archimedean um, drill and I, I think it's it's now definitely worth a few more bob always like to do this before we finish I'll leave that running for you to to watch cheers hope you enjoyed that